Alrighty, so our next topic is going to be um, real world problems. So what if I'm given a word problem, how do I solve it if it's got the characteristics of a parabola? So we have a parabolic mirror from the California Institute of Technology's Hale Telescope. And it's located at Mount Palomar and has a shaped model by this formula, y squared equals 2,668x, where x and y are measured in inches. What is the focal length of the mirror? Ooh, well, this is an important bit of information we would need to solve if we were working on the California Institute of Technology's Hale Telescope. So how would we calculate this? Since it was told to us that it's parabolic, we can use the characteristics of parabolas to solve for our focus and determine our focal length. So important information I should have pulled from this, and I should have had this highlighted, but I didn't. My apologies. Um, some important information I should have pulled from this is that it is parabolic. Here's my formula. Here's my units, and this is what I am searching for. So, ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Okay, so I pulled out just the important information, y squared, what the units are, and what we're searching for. Since it is y squared, it must be horizontal. So I'm going to grab my horizontal formula, and I'm going to plug this in. Ta-da, we have this information. But it doesn't quite look like my formula. So I can write it to account for all, these informa all this information. Technically, if it's just y squared, then the only other way I could write that would be y plus or minus zero. Same with my x. Since it's just x, the only other way I could write that would be x plus or minus zero. Uh, and so I can now calculate my h, my x, and my p. So h and x are really easy. They're, I'm sorry, h and k are really easy. They're just zeros. But what about my p value? It's not 2,668, but it is division divided by four, so it's going to be 667. The most important thing to recognize from that is that it is positive and that we can use it to calculate our focus and our directrix. So I plot my vertex, I calculate my focus. That one's nice and easy. I plot my uh, axis of symmetry, and then I calculate my directrix again nice and easy. Because P was positive, we are in the positive direction. For horizontal, that means open to the right. And so we actually need to know what the question is asking. Are we graphing this? No. Are we calculating the focal length? Yes. So probably dealing with the focus. Okay. Focal length is actually the distance from the vertex to the focus or from the focus to the vertex. So if I have a vertex at 0, 0, and I have a focus at x equals 667 comma 0, so all the way across the uh, x-axis, we're 667 units away. So guess what my focal length is? 667. But because it was a word problem, I'm going to answer in a complete sentence because I know that that's how I get full and total points on an FRQ, or in the future, it helps me understand and write the appropriate way. So the focal length of the mirror, and where did I get that first half of the sentence? I just repeated the question itself. The focal length of the mirror is 667 inches. Can you try it yourself?